hi guys so in today's video tutorial i will discuss about fan or bulb dimmer regulator so what is a fan regulator fan regulator is a device or a circuit that control the speed of the fan or we can say control the rotation of the fan so first i will discuss about the old uh, fashion fan regulators uh, which is consisted of a resistive network uh, that is connected to the fan and our ac input voltage is here so in conventional or old fashion regulator uh, we give input uh, a 220 ac volt a voltage here uh, then we have a resistor network and then our fan so it's a very basic circuit like everyone i think can uh, easily understand this like uh, if i increase the resistor value like if i uh, rotate the knob here then we will increase this resistance which means more voltage drop will be here and our fan will get a low voltages like if i draw its waveforms like uh, first the input waveform is like this we have time here and a voltage so we have a 220 volt here minus 220 volt here so if i increase this resistance like if like like if i rotate the knob here then we will increase the resistance and like if i uh, rotate the knob here or there we will decrease the resistance so by increasing the resistance here there will be more voltage drop and our load will see less voltages like if i draw the load voltage here like uh, if let my resist my knob is here then our load will get low voltages like uh, let's suppose uh, 50 volt here and plus 50 volt here minus 50 volt here plus 50 volt here so our fan will experience or it will see low voltages so our speed of the fan will decrease or if i put a bulb here then we will we will see uh, that the intensity of the bulb will decreases so the main dis disadvantages here uh, for this circuits are like as we know that this is a resistor network so there will be huge uh, real power losses in the resistor that is i square or losses which will produce heat in the system and hence the efficiency of the system will be decreased also uh, the system uh, will uh, produce more heat which will degrade our whole circuit also due to this power losses it will add up in our electricity bill consumption so the old fashioned regulator uh, that were used in old times were consisted of a resistor network so as we know that in no nowadays uh, electronic components are very commonly used so uh, now i will discuss about a uh, electronic fan regulator which is mainly consisted of a triac a diac and a rc network that is used to increase or decrease the time constant of the circuit so as we know that triac is uh, simple uh, by connecting two thyristor anti parallel then we will uh, uh, we will uh, get our triac and triac we have uh, our two points uh, that will connect it in the circuit and a getting signal which will trickle the triac but in diac the, the same thing the diac is like the triac but we have no trigger signal or getting signal it have just a breakdown voltage like if we have some voltages here like let's suppose a breakdown, breakdown voltage of 12 volt then the diac will on and this path will be short circuited so if we have some voltages here uh, that is equal to the breakdown of the diac then the circuit will on and current will pass through it and in triac if we give a pulse to the gate then the current will flow through the diac so coming to the electronic fan regulator like how the circuit works and uh, we will also simulate the circuit in MATLAB and Multisim. So the electronic fan regulator uh, circuit is like this. Uh, we have our input voltage uh, here that, that is 220 volt uh, having a frequency of lit of uh, 50 hertz. Our fan or load or you can say a bulb is connected here. We have a fixed resistor that is about 10 kilo ohm. We have a variable resistor that is about 500 kilo ohm and we have a capacitor that is 0 0.1 microfarad. Then uh, from this point the diac is connected and the diac out, uh, output point is connected to the gate of the triac and the triac is connected in such a manner. So uh, 
how this circuit works the circuit uh, working is very simple like first when the circuit is energized with the input 220 volt then for the current two paths are available one path is here and the other path is here for the current to flow but as we know that at initial condition like initially the capacitor will be at zero volt so there will be no voltage here which means there the voltage is less than the breakdown voltage of the diac which in turn means that there will be no getting signal in the triac so there will be no current here as there is zero volt here so no current will flow to the triac the current will be flow first here through these resistors so as we know that this is an rc network and for the rc, RC network we know that ta equal to rc so by increasing this resistor uh, or decreasing this resistor we can uh, change the time constant of the circuit which means like uh, uh, if we increase the resistor which means time constant will be increased so uh, after some time the circuit will reach or the capacitor voltage will reach the breakdown voltage of the diac which will turn on the diac and that voltage will appear to the gate of the triac and the triac will turn on and current will flow through this path like if i uh, draw the capacitor uh, charging current plot like we have time here we have voltage and as uh, when the time passes the capacitor voltage appears is like this like after some time type equal to rc the capacitor uh, will charge here like time equal to 5 rc which is five time constants so after some time the capacitor will charge to a specific value and if that value is more than the breakdown voltage of this diac then this path point will be connected to this point which uh, means that we will get a signal at the gate of the triac and the circle will turns on and when current will, and the load current that will be in amperes will pass through the fan and to the triac and to the uh, returning path so uh, we can increase and decrease the fan of the speed like i will discuss here like how the fan like uh, like if i measure the voltages here across the fan like how oh, this voltage is variable so first the uh, i will plot the graphs here like we have a 220 volt here it's a 220 volt uh, 220 volt and minus 220 volt so uh, as we excited the circuit here so after some time let's suppose our ta equal to we select the uh, resistor in such a way that the time constant become let's suppose 5 milliseconds also you have to keep in mind that our uh, 50 hertz signal is 20 millisecond like if we have time equal to 1 by 50 hertz which means 20 millisecond signal our a power AC source so uh, I selecting as I am selecting the resistor in such a way that the time constant of this network becomes 5 millisecond okay and I am assuming that the resistor network make a divider route in such a way that it uh, that here after 5 time constant or, uh, or after 5 milliseconds the voltage will be greater than the breakdown voltage of the diac so uh, uh, as we know that the time of this signal is 20 milliseconds so after 5 milliseconds the voltage here will be of such value that that will be greater than the breakdown voltage of the diac which will connect this point to this point and hence uh, the, the, the triac uh, gate will get a signal which will turn on the triac and the current will flow through this path so like if i am assuming that this point this point is let's suppose a uh, 5 millisecond this point is 5 millisecond so uh, when the circuit is energized and before 5 millisecond our fan will uh, experience no voltage because uh, that uh, the current is not flowing here so the the uh, fan will uh, as the current here is very very small so here the voltage will be almost zero across the fan so uh, the fan uh, like this is the plot i am plotting uh, voltage across the fan voltage across the fan so uh, 
before 5 milliseconds like up to 5 milliseconds the voltage across the fan will be zero and after 5 milliseconds this point will be in such uh, voltage that will be greater than the breakdown voltage and this will turn on which means this point will be connected to the uh, neutral here like it is like if it is phase and it is neutral then when uh, uh, it 5 millisecond this point will be connected to this point which means this will trigger the triac and this will turns on which means this point will be connected to neutral so the voltage across the fan will be uh, of some values like this point is connected to the uh, phase and this point is connected to the neutral but that is after some time so after 5 millisecond our waveform will be like this like the this portion of your farm will be experienced by the fan okay so uh, after uh, like i am uh, placing the dots here to show it more clearly okay so after 5 millisecond the voltage will rise to the load and that this point will be equal to 220 volt but some of the portion is not experiencing by the fan or it is not uh, uh, like this voltage is not experienced by the fan so our fan will get less voltages similarly in negative cycle when the uh, uh, like when this uh, cycle passes so as we know that when the current through the thyristor is zero the thyristor or the triac turns off it is a uh, characteristic or a fundamental uh, behavior of a triac which uh, which is like when the current through the tri triac is zero which uh, obviously will be here at this point when the voltage here is zero at this instant which me uh, so the current here will be zero so this triac will turn off so at this point the triac is turn off so after a uh, 10 millisecond this cycle will repeat as we know that positive cycle is for 10 millisecond and negative cycle is for 10 millisecond so after a uh, 10 millisecond again the capacitor will be charged but in, it will be in it will be of negative value because for positive cycle let's suppose this voltage and for negative cycle the here we will get negative voltages so the capacitor will uh, charge but in negative volts like uh, like let's suppose in first case it was uh, of 12 volt so now in second case we will get here plus uh, minus 12 volt okay so if when uh, so when we get minus 12 volt here so the diac will again break down and uh, the pulse will be uh, like and the gate will experience a minus 12 volt pulse which will again turn on the triac and the load current or the fan current will pass through this path so again uh, let's suppose i have uh, kept the resistor in such a way that again the time constant is 5 millisecond so after 5 milliseconds it will again turn on and our voltage will be like this so our fan will experience uh, this voltage so we can clearly see that uh, as we know that the RMS value of this wave farm is 220 volt but this wave farm will have a RMS value which will be less than 220 volt because for here it is 0 volt and for here it is also 0 volt just we have extracted this part this path or this wave farm and this wave farm across the load so the our load will experience this voltage which means by increasing or decreasing this variable resistor we can uh, get uh, a different wave farm like this wave farm with more zero values or less zero, zero values which means we, we can increase or decrease the rms value across the fan or the bulb which will in turn increase the speed of the fan like if i increase the time constant more like if i increase the variable resistor in such a way that time constant at 8 millisecond so uh, like if i draw again the input like if this is our input voltage uh, this is 220 volt rms input this is 220 volt and this is minus 220 volts and and if i increase the resistor in such a way that the time constant becomes 8 millisecond that are the, the, the time uh, at which the point this point increase uh, or 
or the or, or after 8 millisecond this point will reach at such value of voltage that the breakdown of the diac will occur and the gate of the MOSFET will be triggered and this path will be turned on and current will flow through this triac to the neutral wire. So uh, like as we know that this time is 10 millisecond this time is 10 millisecond and let suppose this point is 8 millisecond so after this time the load will and uh, uh, so uh, after uh, for 8 millisecond the fan will experience no voltage and after this time we will get our output will form like this and similarly here for let's suppose this is 16 millisecond for again 8 milliseconds the circuit will not turn on for negative cycle and again we will get here 0 volt and our waveform will be like this okay just I am like if I draw the dot here this was the original waveform and we were we are extracting the waveform for the load this is the plot for the fan voltage okay so by increasing the volt, the resistor resistor value of varia, uh, by increasing the value of the variable resistor we can increase the time constant which means after more the, the capacitor will, will take more time to charge to that specific value uh, that, that at which the diac or the diac uh, breakdown occurs and the get get a signal so by uh, also by lowering this value which means which will we are decreasing the time constant which means the capacitor will be charged uh, very fast and mean that we will get a more voltages here so by increasing the res resistor value here we can uh, get our waveform more and more small or thinner which means we can we are decreasing the RMS value across the fan which will decrease the speed of the fan or we can increase or decrease the intensity of a bulb here so the circuit worker is very principal and here the the purpose of R1 is here uh, yeah, the purpose of R1 is here is uh, like uh, what if I uh, I uh, turns the knob of the variable variable resistor in such a way that here the R variable becomes zero. Again I am saying that uh, what is the purpose of R1 here? R1 is just uh, connected here to limit the current or to limit the capacitor voltage like what if our R variable is set in such a way that R variable equal to zero ohm so if R1 is not present here just then just capacitor will be connected here and a, a huge current can flow or the capacitor voltages will be more which can disturb or decrease the efficiency of the circuit or the circuit may not, may not work properly. So R1 here is to just limit the current here and to limit the voltage of the capacitor. So the working principle is very similar first the current flow here and the capacitor charges after some time constant which uh, and, the, and if the vol voltage value here is increased are more than the uh, breakdown of this diac then we will get a signal here of the uh, uh, to the triac and the triac will turns on and the voltage will go through like this similarly from the negative cycle so we can increase or decrease the speed of the fan or intensity of the bulb so the advantage here is as we have no a such a big component like a resistor uh, here the current is in milliamperes in previous circuit uh, you can uh, in previous circuit you can clearly see that the main load current or the let's suppose like the fan is of 220 to 220 watts so the current will be approx 1 ampere here so the main load current is also flowing through these resistors which here so here will be a huge, huge power losses but here in this case the load current like let's suppose this fan or bulb is of 220 watt and then there will be 1 ampere current so that 1 ampere current is not flowing here that is flowing here through this triac okay so because here is a resist the resistance value is very large here like also we have a 0.1 microfarad capacitor that have an impedance of x equal to 1 by 2 pi fc which will be more so the load current is not flowing here here the current will be in milliamperes so there will be very low power losses here so the benefit of this circuit is like we have no power losses as because because the load uh, currently not seeing any resistance here 
also it is easy to control like just we have used two components uh, di uh, triac and diac and just an i and rc network which can uh, increase the speed of the fan or the intensity or the light light of a bulb so uh, thank you for watching and in, in next video we will do its simulation of this circuit in matlab and a multi sim